Just make me taller than my mom. I love you, mom, but you are short. Um, <laughs> I didn't beat her by much. Uh, <laughs> anyway, this, uh, this segment we like to call Minute Glass of Wine. That's why, hence why we made the stage a bar. You're welcome. Um, <laughs> and I just figured it's rude. I'm not gonna have you drink alone. That's not a good host, so. This is a good wine. This is, um, this is actually a, a gift from someone that's coming later. But anyway, um, we do this thing called Minute Glass of Wine online and we kind of incorporate it into the tour because I don't know if you've heard, but they gave me a TV show. So we're gonna, yep. I'm excited, I'm super so At first, when they first asked me, I was like, uh, no. Because <laughs> I was like, what? And then I kind of got excited because they, you know, everybody was telling me, like, you could have music, you could start the whole thing off with music, you could be comfortable, you could, you know, interview people, you love talking. And I was like, wait, this is a great idea because I've, like, never had a stable job. <laughs> I've always been a gypsy, so <laughs> it's really nice. I'm very excited about it. And um, anyway, so we thought we'd do a little pregame. Um, sometimes I bring people out for interviews on tour, and, and sometimes we just, well, all the time we sing um, because we're doing, a, like we're doing on the TV show, um, we're doing a different song every show. And I couldn't make it everywhere um, because I have a lot of jobs and I am a mom of four. So <laughs> there's only so much time in the world. So um, <laughs> anyway, so I thought um, I'd go live every show. We've never done this before. I'm glad it's working out because I was really panicked because it was my idea. Uh, <laughs> but, and then if it, bo if it like completely bombed, I'd be like, that was Jason's idea. <laughs> um, <laughs> but it, it's, it's doing well and so we're excited that people all across the world can get to tune in because I can't. I can't tour everywhere quite yet. I'm lucky I get to come here for y'all. I get to see y'all, it's awesome. But I, I can't see everyone um, this, this go around. So, um, but anyway, so every, every show, I guess for um, oh, well over a decade, we've been doing um, uh, requests, like fan requests. And I, I love music, like genuinely just as much as you. Like I, I, I listen to it all the time as I'm going to sleep, if I'm working out, which is rare. And, um, and just around my house, I just love it. And, um, <laughs> Anyway, so I, I love covering artists of all genres, um, like we have for years. And um, tonight, we're doing two artists that I, I love. Um, these artists didn't inspire me to become an artist, but they inspire me to keep making music. And I've met both of them, and they're super lovely. And I was so excited they were doing a duet together. And um, I was super stoked to learn the song, because I, I love them. And um, this is Sam Smith and Normani that were doing, yes, okay, here we go. Have you seen, first of all, we're about to do a song that's amazing. It's called Dancing with a Stranger, but has anyone seen the video? Have you seen the video? Like, in, if, if, if reincarnation exists, I just wanna come back like Normani. Like, I just, like, what is with her body? Like, I'm like, dang, does she eat? And like, what does she eat? And like, what water is she drinking? What well is it from? Like, she's so glorious. And she dances like, ooh. It's so good. And it's like classy too, you know, I like it. Um, anyway, I'm a huge fan of Sam Smith too, who isn't, he's an amazing vocalist as well. But um, they're, they're both great vocalists. But anyway, we cover people every night and tonight I've chosen these two, so I hope you like it. If you know it, please sing along. That I'm not over you I'm still thinking about the things you do So I don't wanna be alone tonight Alone tonight, alone tonight Can you light the fire? I need somebody who can take control I know exactly what I need to do 
on the stage for you. Give it up for my incredible band. They're so good. If you, if you don't know that song, we kind of put a different twist on it production-wise. My horn section is insane. They're so good. Um, but anyway, oh, everyone's good. I don't know why I just pointed them out. Yeah, everybody is so awesome. Everything is awesome. Um, <laughs> but uh, they really are. It's so fun. I, I literally, I feel like it's kind of a bummer because a lot of artists are afraid to do other people's music or afraid to cover. Everybody's always like, territorial or they get threatened or something and it's really cool like I think we can all be fans of each other there's room for everyone it's art and like you can celebrate you can lift people up without pushing yourself down you know so anyway that's that's why I like to cover other people's stuff and um and I'm a big fan too so but uh this next this next guest though we have a guest this show because I'm very excited um he was actually on season 14 of The Voice with me um, he's super cute. He's super talented. And um, this is Dylan Hart again with his friend Dan Topo. Come on out, y'all. That's so good. I'm going to move out of the way. I'm so excited because I got to, yes, with you. Okay. And you're barefoot. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to move this out of your way because I saw your rehearsal. And they're gonna, you're going to need that. Um, all right, come on up here when y'all are done. Literally, Dylan was on my team on, um, see, actually, you were on, were you on Blake's team too? Yeah. You were on Blake's team too? Yeah, that's awesome. I got, I got stolen. Yes. And then I got stolen you again. You got stolen again. That's how good you are. Yeah. We couldn't let him go. Uh, we, we love him. So anyway, I wanted to say though, if you don't know Dylan, first of all, you've got to follow him on Instagram. Like he does these amazing, I, the one I am thinking of is on the pond, the sessions you did on the I, I love it. Y'all always, and it's always your friend, right? He does it with you too. Yeah, Dan? that's my buddy Dano. We've been buddies since high school. Yes. We've and been I, playing together since then too. That's awesome. I didn't know that. Wait, wait when did y'all meet? Like as in class or did y'all meet and you formed we met, a band? We met through mutual friends. So I was in a band with a buddy of mine for a while and then he met Dan and brought Dan over to a jam at my house. Yes. And then me and of Dan, it was so like cool. love at first sight, you know? Y'all are like jamming. Yeah. I was just like me in my room with my karaoke tapes. Y'all are so much cooler. <laughs> I tried playing instruments and I can, but I kind of suck, so I just gave it up. <laughs> but anyway, I want to say this though, because I've, I know like after I was on Idol, like my whole perspective on music and like my performance and songs I liked and everything kind of changed. And so I know, I look at them, 
Look at them. They're all like, hey, Dylan. Hi, everybody. <laughs> this is amazing, by the way. They're good. They're a great audience, too. But how is your, how's your music evolved, though? Because like, I know it's, it, it had to evolve a bit from being on the show. Yeah, it, it has. I'm not, very, I'm not used to talking into a microphone. What? So well, you're used to singing. I'm one. used to just singing to my mom and my dad. Um, but, yeah, it's, it's changed a lot, um, as does every kind of art form, I guess. Um, I was a folk singer. I still kind of am a folk singer. I like to write songs from the perspective of a storyteller. Um, I love that. Yeah. Yeah, so I still do that, but, you know, the world affects me in different ways, and I hear different sounds, um, and those kind of affect everything that happens yeah, when I, it comes to the writing. I love it, because like when you sent me this song, he's gonna sing his new single that's about to come out. We get it first, that's right. Um, he's about to sing his new single, and when I heard it, I thought it was awesome because I couldn't place it. Like, you know, usually you can place like, oh, this is influenced by, or this was, it was, it kind of like fed a few different people for me, like, which I loved. Yeah, it's got a lot of, it's got a lot of Allman Brothers influence. Uh, that's, that's big on Dano's part yeah. right there. <laughs> Um, that and solo is sick. Yeah. Yeah, <laughs> yeah you're going to hear him play slide guitar, buddy. It's, it's so pretty good. sweet. Um, and then, you know, it's got an existential viewpoint on the world, I guess. Yeah. Um, I but love that. yeah, as there's a lot of. I love it, though, because the song is like one of those songs. It's like when you listen to a song, everybody, you hear, you filter it for your own life. Like you, you relate it to your own life. And so, any, everybody that listens to the song, it comes to you in a different way. But anyway, this, um, before you do this song, I want to let everybody know you have a big show coming up April 17th. April 17th in New York City. Yes. If anybody's from the New York area, yeah. I got a show at Rockwood Music Hall, baby. Yeah. Uh, awesome. So yeah, come through if you want. We're gonna have drinks. I'm probably gonna be at a bar after this too. Uh, the nearest one, <laughs> the having nearest drinks. The nearest one. That's your yeah. level. That's yeah. your bar. <laughs> yeah, I sing and I drink. You're like, I know, but I know. And I don't know things. I like that you didn't like Yelp from. even the best one. You're like, like proximity is really all I need. <laughs> it's just like whatever's closest. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> all cool. right, well I'm gonna shut up. I'm gonna let them hear this. It's amazing. It's his new single coming out. Literally, you want to follow him, okay? Dylan Hardigan Music, okay, on Instagram. He's he, he does all these sessions all the time online. It's it's amazing. I'm gonna get out of Thanks. your way. Do your thing. I'm gonna drink. <laughs> Thanks a lot, Kelly. You're closest to me. <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I'm having a glass after this too. Don't worry about that. Oh, by the way, that's the wine that I got her. Oh, it is. Cream and tree. Um, yes. All right, thanks, everybody. This one's called Stop Look and Listen. The Dreaming Tree. You never cared for anyone that cared You're broken the barriers From what you've learned to what you've learned to share Stop looking and listen, baby Stop looking and listen, baby Stop looking and listen, go to the wind Stop looking and listen, baby. Stop looking, listen, baby. Stop looking, listen, no to the wind. It may not ever blow this way again. Wasted holidays Concerned about what other people say You waste your apologies Is there empty if you just throw them all away? Stop looking and listen, baby Stop looking, listen, baby Stop looking, listen, no to the wind Stop looking and listen, baby Stop looking, listen, baby Stop looking, listen to the wind It may not ever blow this way again. 
Thanks, Pennsylvania. I appreciate it. Thank you, Kelly. Oh my gosh, it was so good. I'm, I'm bummed. I want a whole album. I want a whole album now, Dylan. I'm sorry. <laughs> I don't have it. I'm like, y'all need to work on that. I want to listen to that on vinyl with wine. <laughs> All right, wait, before you leave, come up here because we're going to, oh, you might have to unplug or something because I don't think it'll reach. But can y'all come up here? Okay, so before we leave, first of all, I want you to give it up for that incredible song. Come on. It was so good. It was so cool and chill. It was so chill. Like my spirit animal. I'm so ADHD. <laughs> but anyway, we're going to take a picture because in my TV show, my, my studio, we're going to put all these pictures up from this tour because I want to feel like I'm still on tour because I love touring. So anyway, we can see you all, all the way back there, okay? The lights are coming up. We can see you. So everybody look this way. Come on over here, Dan. Yeah. Come on over here. Okay, say hey. All right, give it up for him one more time. Come on, Dylan Hardigan, Dan Tomo. Yeah. Thank you so much, Facebook Live. Oh, I stepped on your toe. We were toe to toe. We just played footsies on TV. My husband's back there. I'm just kidding. <laughs> Bye, Facebook Live. See you next weekend. <laughs>